The Big Island Biodiesel plant is a very unique facility in that it's making very high quality distilled biodiesel. It's a surprise to a lot of people that that technology is here in Hawaii. Fuel that we make today at Pacific Biodiesels Refinery is one of the best qualities of fuel in the U.S. It's very pure, it's crystal clear, free of all the contaminants that can be in standard biodiesel. We've had great success with our fuel in all kinds of applications, from power generation down to tractors and boats and all kinds of vehicles. It's a direct 100% replacement for petroleum diesel, so this is really what can get us off of petroleum fuel. I haven't put petroleum in my car since I was 16 years old. Besides being carbon neutral, biodiesel has a lot of advantages over fossil diesel. It's non-toxic, it's biodegradable, it also burns really clean in the diesel engine. Because we're using a product that was a waste material, the greenhouse gas footprint is very low. Our process to make biodiesel takes about one day from when the material comes into the plant until the biodiesel is finished and ready for delivery. Starts with the trucks bringing in used cooking oil. We do some pre-treatment to it. We first filter the oil, take out all the food waste, and then it's dried and then placed into our reactor. In our reactor, we will add an alcohol and a catalyst, as well as some heat. That will create the transesterification reaction, which is the breaking of the triglyceride molecule. Our biodiesel will sit on top and that will get moved over to our water wash system. From there, we'll do a quick light wash on it with a little bit of water to remove any residual glycerin. And then the biodiesel will go to our high vacuum distillation column. We are essentially evaporating the biodiesel and then recondensing it into its purest form. And from there, our fuel is pretty much ready to go into the diesel engine. We're checking all the way through the process to make sure everything is on track. And then at the very end, we do a full testing analysis of our end fuel to make sure that it meets the ASTM spec. Our process is designed to be zero waste and off the grid so we can run on our own fuels. So out of the reactor, we have our glycerin and other byproducts. We're able to pull back out those salts in the form of potassium sulfate, which is also known as potash which is a great fertilizer material. And we're also able to pull out the methanol and we re-evaporate that into a pure form that we can use again in, at the beginning of our process. And then the crude glycerin um, goes into wastewater processing facilities around the world. We use our distillation column bottoms, which is another one of our byproducts, to run our boilers for heat and steam. So we make our own fuel to provide our own heat we also use our biodiesel in our generators to make electricity. So we can be completely off-grid and provide all of our own electricity with our own products. Biodiesel is really one of the lowest carbon footprints of, of any fuel out here. It's good for the environment in a couple ways. When we make it out of waste oil, we're keeping waste oil from becoming a hazard. And when we make it from virgin oils, we are letting the plants do the hard work of converting sunlight to liquid oil, and then we make the liquid oil into fuel. We're at a turning point. Uh, we need to start solving our greenhouse gas emissions yesterday. The next 10 years is critical, so let's not wait for new technologies to mature before we take that first step. We can do it today. We can do it right here.